Oh my gosh. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I am talking about an over-the-top beautiful day here in the end times in paradise. By the banks of the Withlacoochee River in Donellan, Florida on this unbelievably gorgeous. It is a Friday morning. It is January 5th, 2023. We five days into it. Heading in up into the 70s today. I I hear uh could be looking at six inches of snow in Ithaca, New York this weekend. Six inches of snow. <laughs> That's just why I am not in Ithaca, New York. I am in Denellum, Florida. So anyway, let's see. You know, I always have to start my rants. How uh, how much trouble is this one going to get me into? So I don't know how many. <laughs> I don't know how many of you heard my rant that I posted last night about this. Uh, you know, my new pile of fish girlfriend. Uh, anyway, this is kind of the the morning after follow-up <laughs> to that rant. Just the, the Cliff Notes version of that rant. That, uh... <clears throat> what was it? I guess it was Wednesday, Friday. So, so Wednesday night, this woman tells me that I am not allowed to speak for more than 25 seconds at a time. That if she asks me a question or makes a comment, I get 25 seconds to either answer her question or respond back to her comment. And uh, <laughs> so... Obviously, I think I think it, it, it is this woman for real. It, 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 she's perfectly for real. Not, not kidding at all that she's going to tell me how many seconds I am allowed to speak. Uh, <laughs> she thinks I'm too much of a mansplainer. And uh, so anyway, obviously, it was time for me to get rid of her. And wanting to, uh, you, you know, avoid confrontation, and uh, and just tell her like, 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 lady, you know, I like you all right, but uh, I, I really don't see a a love affair here. Instead of you know, like, you know, being honest with her, that was one choice. Uh, I guess the second choice was to ghost her. Uh, just, you know, like 99% of people on uh, these internet dating sites would do. Uh, just disappear out of her life with no explanation. So, I didn't want to appear to be such a coward. So, I came up with the brilliant idea <laughs> that I would send her the link to my soft white underbelly interview which i'm assuming you guys have heard uh that soft white underbelly interview why i mansplain for 45 minutes i uh, a 45 minute torrent of psychic puke mansplaining how fucked we are and, and how I wish the, the goddamn human race would go extinct and the, you know, the whole bit. So I send her that link on Wednesday night <clears throat> and saying there, there, there is no way, no way that this woman is going to survive this link. She, she will listen to that she will run screaming into the night. She will probably uh, flag my profile on Pile of Fish, you know, talking about how we have Ted Kaczynski uh, <laughs> stalking Pile of Fish. But anyway, I said, okay, I got rid of that one, thank God. And 
So I send her that link about nine o'clock Wednesday night. I get, I go to bed at midnight. There's been no response by midnight. I get up uh, yesterday morning, absolute dead silence from her. No comment uh, about that video uh, on any level whatsoever. Uh, all day long, I get no phone call. I get no text. You know, this woman is the queen of texting. No text, no phone call, no message on uh, the pile of fish email. Here comes this uh, attractive 50-something here old woman who comes walking her dog down here every day. So, uh, she might not want to listen to this rant. <coughs> Let's see if she's... I'm just going to... No, you don't need to go check out that little dog. Uh, well, I gotta see if she's coming out on the dock or not. <laughs> Well, maybe she could be my doomer chick brother. Good morning. No, you stay. No. You don't need to go. No, you're not going over there. <laughs> See ya. Uh, she has two. This woman has two pit bulls. Uh, <laughs> what I need is a woman well, with two bibles. Anyway, so where I am I? So, so I, so I send this woman the link to, uh, and, and absolutely no response back from her. So it's been 22 hours when I leave and I go to this picking party last night. And so on the way back from the picking party, I, you know, I put out this rant that I, I I'm, I'm just assuming when I get home that uh, this batshit crazy woman uh, will be out of my life and I never need to talk to her again for one second, much less 25 seconds. And so I get home and open up my Skype and of course I've got like 10 texts from her. And so I'm assuming, you, you, you know, it's going to be you disgusting, whatever, that she was going to be going off at me about that, uh, about that soft white underbelly. And the, the first text is, uh, the, the, the first text is, she's going to Goodwill today. Is there anything I can pick up? that she can pick up for me at the thrift store that I might need. That's the first text. Then the second one, she says, very cool that you identify as a doomer. <laughs> That's the second text. Very cool that you identify as a doomer. The third text was, I wish I could remember the exact quote, but it was something like, you know, talking about the soft white underbelly interview. Uh, that's exactly my perspective for the past several decades. That was text number three. Text number four, not, 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 not a question, a statement. I am coming to your place tomorrow to bring you some olive oil and some things for your kitchen. She announced to me uh, that she was coming to my trailer to bring me some olive oil and some things for my kitchen. <laughs> so, so, so here I am, guys. Uh, it, it, uh, my, my attempt to get rid of this woman, now, you know, because I've been saying all along, she's not a normie. 
uh, you know, obviously if this woman had been a normie, I'd never worry, but, but she's not a normie. She just did not realize <clears throat> that she was a doomer chick. But now she realizes that she is a doomer chick and, and that, well, well, Sam and I completely agree uh, on, on, on how fucked we are. Uh, so now, you know, so she's so she's reading this that uh, we we have we're now uh, our two doomers. Oh fuck! <laughs> so so here I am. I, I, I'm thinking uh, like you know, and 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 she's been you know trying to sneak in the past few nights, uh, some, you know, some, some very sexual references that she is, uh, did, you know, just signaling that it's obvious that she's ready to, uh, take this relationship below the belt. So she's been sneaking that in, and, and I and I've been deflecting those comments. And then, as I mentioned in that in that rant last night, you know, she's she's already talking about moving in with me, that 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 we're that we're gonna live together in the trailer, and 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 then she and then she's talking about uh, coming to New York spending the summer with me in New York and all of this shit and I'm thinking what the fuck I just met this damn uh, doomer check so uh, I, I'm I, so obviously guys I, I'm, I'm going to send uh, this uh, this rant out to you know who out to Dulcinea because uh, I, I'm quite sure of any human being on this planet, Dulcinea will, will find this the funniest fucking story she's ever heard. And, and, and the second thing is, uh, as th 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 this is 100% Maggie's fault. 100% Maggie's fault th that, that I am in this situation. Uh, <clears throat> I had nothing to do with this. Th this whole situation that that I that I'm in now with this woman on pile of fish, completely Maggie's fault for for getting me uh, in 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 this position. Uh, so anyway, but I'm in it. So now 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 what the 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 fuck do I do? So what was I guess five years ago? Five years ago, I had. No Doomer chicks in my life, much less a Doomer chick with a BMI of under 22. How many fucking times, how many fucking times did I get out there whining, talking about that all I want to do is manifest a Doomer chick with a BMI of under 22? Put it out there for, for, for 10 fucking years. Uh, and, and, and then, of course, my New Year's resolution this year was to uh, manifest a, a Doomer chick uh, with a BMI uh, under 22 since the Doomer chick that I manifested four and a half years ago does not have any more desire to be with me than I have to be with the, the, this pile of fish woman. I, I said, so I just need to manifest a new one. Well, it took me five days. So, so I have gone five years ago, zero <clears throat> Doomer chicks with BMIs of under 22 to two of them. So now I have two of them in, in, in my life. Uh, <laughs> there, there, there's just there, there, there's one critical difference between these two uh, these two skinny doomer chicks that I manifested in my life, and, and, and one of them uh, wants to move in with me uh, into this trailer and then follow me to New York this summer. And, of course, the other Doomer chick 
has absolutely no intention on any level uh, of moving in with me uh, into this uh, in, in Florida or following me to New York or anything else. So I'm, 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 I'm sitting here. So now my challenge, now that I've manifested here on the fifth day of 2024, I, 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 the universe has given me exactly what I asked for. <clears throat> on four day, in four days, exactly what I asked for. I asked the universe uh, for for a Doomer chick with a BMI under twenty two who who actually wants to be with me. And here she is. I have one, and 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 so now I, I I'm uh, I, I'm trying to get rid of her. <clears throat> you know, politely. So, uh, right now, uh, I guess I'm just going to play Dulcinea's game that, you know, when, whenever, uh, we need to give this woman a name. Uh, Lulu's, we're, we're going to call her Betty Boop. So, uh, we're going to call, she, she actually reminds me a little bit of Betty Boop, uh, this pile of fish women. So, uh, so, you know, kind of like Dulcinea does to me every time I, I try to get into the discussion of uh, the two of us creating some sort of future life together, how, how she completely deflects me. You know, you know, just just a back of the hand gnat swap. Uh, if if uh, if I want to sit here and talk about fucking space aliens or whatever, she'll talk to me all day long. You, you know what I'm saying? If, if it's something that that has you know that doesn't involve us making a life together, she's fine talking about that. So, you know, I'm kind of like that with Betty Boop now. So so now every time Betty Boop uh, makes a comment uh, about uh, the two of us creating a life together, uh, I'm, I'm going to start talking about thrift stores. Oh, fuck. So anyway, so here's the situation. Again, let's see how much trouble the, 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 this will get me into. Five o'clock in the fucking morning. Sitting there tossing and turning in bed. I'm a 64-year-old man. Tossing and turning in bed. Uh, like, like, like a guy the 14-year-old. And I'm thinking, okay. Uh, okay, how about uh, How can you... You know, let's be pragmatic here about your situation. How can you turn these lemons into lemonade? And I'm thinking, well, you know, I'm looking at Betty Boop, and I'm putting her up next to Dulcinea. Well, from behind, they look pretty much the same. I mean, they're, uh, they both have nice bodies, uh, you know, up to the, up to the neck. Uh, they, they both have nice bodies. They're the same height. Uh, they're basically the same weight. Uh, Betty Boop might actually be slimmer than, uh, than, than Dulcinea, since I haven't seen Dulcinea in, in uh, going on two years. I don't know what Dulcinea even looks like anymore. But they, you know, they basically have the same body type, especially from behind. And, uh, and, and, and then from the front, you know, obviously the difference between the 52-year-old Dulcinea and the 68-year-old Betty Boop Clearly, the big difference is the face. Now, Betty Boop, when she was 52, probably did have a face. Might have looked a little bit like Dulcinea, you know what I'm saying? Uh, their noses uh, actually look very, very similar. 
So, uh, and, and then, uh, and, and then the other major difference between, uh, Betty Boop and Dulcinea is, is the tits. Uh, that Betty Boop has no tits. I, I, you know, I, I mean, I'm looking at this woman and, and I'm trying to decide has she actually had a double mastectomy? Does she have any tits? Uh, it, it, see, it, but it really, it, you know, it does not matter. I've had this discussion before about tits. I, I have never understood the man's attraction and fascination with tits. Tits are literally, I, I mean, they are one of the least important uh, anatomical structures on a female. I, you know, I married a woman with... Uh, I, I married a woman who was 32 double A. I, I don't give a fuck. Uh, I, I have a much bigger problem with big tits than little tits. It, it's much easier for tits to be too big than too little. So I, I want you to understand, ladies, I don't have a problem with Betty Boop's tits in and of themselves. I don't give a fuck uh, how flat-chested she is. My problem with Betty Boop's tits is they're not Dulcinea's tits. And, and Dulcinea has gorgeous tits. Okay. Uh, you might want to watch, well, her video poke through. Uh, I think poke through might have been the last uh, video that Dulcinea ever made. Uh, I still uh, have a copy of poke through. You can actually find it somewhere in the Humpty Dumpty tribe files. So uh, my, my problem with, with Betty Boop's tits is they're not Dulcinea's tits. So I'm, I'm, and so that's just something I, I, I have to learn to deal with. And, you know, the face, I'm thinking, well, Betty Boop's a little bit of a mask Nazi. You know, she's got like two of them in the car, so maybe I could, you know, uh, just b b before we fuck, I, I could ask her to put a mask on. But my brilliant idea while I was jerking off at 5 o'clock, and I'm sitting there jerking off at 5 o'clock in the morning, figuring out how I can have a sexual relationship with a woman I have zero sexual interest in. And I said, well, obviously, you know, Hammon, you've got the bare bones, you've got the skeletal structure, so just, just buy Betty Boop a long, dark red-haired wig. You know, get her a Dulcinea wig. And if you know, if, if you could put the wig on her, you, you know, and just, just fuck her from, you know, from behind, just figure out some, you know, just uh, don't be front to front. Uh, you know, just fuck her doggy style, maybe, you know, maybe uh, put her uh, put her up on top, spin her around, for, you know, where she's looking at my feet, and, and, and I'm just looking, uh, you, you know, at her ass and her uh, back and, uh, and, and, and her Dulcinea wig. Uh, may, you know, that would work. <clears throat> you know, she would probably look a hell of a lot like Dulcinea uh, in any of those positions. You know, as long as... I, you know, as long as I don't have to look at her face, I was thinking maybe we could just 69, you know, so I'm not looking at her face. 
<laughs> you know, I'm going through all of these combinations is uh, as a okay, I, I've got this uh, this slim doomer chick with a pretty nice body, uh, you know, wanting to have sex with me. But she's not the slim doomer chick I want to be having sex with. So uh, <laughs> I'm thinking of uh, so how do I how do I broach the subject? Uh, you know, because you you better believe this uh, the, 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 this whole conversation is uh, I, I had actually even bought a box of condoms. Uh, before the 25 second comment came out of this woman's mouth, I was just thinking, well, uh, what, the, what the hell, Ambona? It, it's not the, you know, it's not the pussy you want, but uh, it, it's, it, it, but it's the pussy you've got, and uh, <clears throat> oh God. So what do you guys think? Uh, can I? Uh, <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Will this woman agree? Uh, she doesn't seem like she has the personality. I don't think she would agree to wearing the wig. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so now... Uh, I keep looking over my shoulder because uh, you know her her last text to me that that she was coming up today. I'm coming up today to bring you a bottle of olive oil. That sounds a little weird, right there. I I I have this woman who is uh, dropping all kinds of hints that uh, you know that she's ready to take this uh, relationship to the next level. Is bringing me a bottle of olive oil. I've got a fucking air fryer. I, <laughs> I mean, what, what, you know, I don't know exactly what we're supposed to be using the olive oil for. But she is 68 years old. That might be a little, a little hint what the olive oil is for. And then she's bringing, she's bringing me some things for my kitchen. You know, she was up here for Christmas, and we were cooking uh, Christmas dinner together, so I guess she was taking note. She's already brought me a colander, a salad bowl, <clears throat> and a pack of dish rags. And now she's bringing me more items for my kitchen, my dear, sweet, flat-chested, late, great, ex-wife her term for that <clears throat> was twigging is the word that uh, Caroline used to call uh, call that where women what they do is that they you know it, it starts with a colander and a salad bowl that uh, they just you know, they they drop by, and they they leave these little twigs, like a fucking colander or a salad bowl or or whatever. And then uh, you know after ten or twelve times of doing that, uh, they've built a nest in your fucking house, uh, like like a goddamn pack rat. And, and good luck getting rid of them. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, what that's what my dear sweet ex-wife would call it. That this woman is twigging you, Hambone. Uh, 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 <laughs> be very careful of twiggers. But this is what I am dealing with. I am, I am waiting for my twigger to arrive uh, with her bottle of olive oil uh, where 
And I'm thinking, uh, how, how can I put this woman in a dulcet nail wig? Oh, fuck. You know, I, I, I completely understand the sick, twisted, dark irony. Uh, you know, the universe really does have a fucking sense of humor. It really does. <clears throat> but okay. What you asked for. And I gave it to you. It took four days, dude. I gave you your fucking Doomer check. Your skinny Doomer check. Who wants to uh, build a future with you. And all you want to do is turn her into the... Uh, <sighs> the Doomer check who doesn't want to be with you. you know? I guess, you know, I could ask her. You know, darling, uh, while we're fucking... Could you, uh, could you talk about space aliens, uh, while we're having sex, while, while I'm, while I'm, uh, doing you doggy style, uh, could, could you be talking about space aliens? And then I, you know, I guess there's the, you know, the old Benjamin Franklin, uh, advice, turn the fucking lights off. Don't you know, once the fucking lights are off and you're under the covers, who gives a fuck what they look like? I mean, I imagine she would feel a hell of a lot like, uh, like Dulcinea. <sighs> Jesus. Life. But anyway, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day. I have finished my uh, planet-saving cup of organic coffee. And uh, I think I'm going to go clean out this big-ass shed. Get ready for another trip to the dump. Get out there and uh, create your perfect lover while you still can. Bye, guys.